been a while since I vlogged. Last video I did was uh, of my crash. And um, I want to tell you a little bit more about that week that I had. So, a crash happened Thursday. On Wednesday, I was actually sick. I say that in the video. Thursday, I had the crash, and it was raining in the morning, and then it turned out to be sunny in the afternoon, which was just my luck, right? Yeah. And then Friday, I was heading to work, and I almost get into another accident. I just could not believe this. Um, but after my, my crash on Thursday, I decided to, uh, before my ride on Friday, I decided to say a little prayer and, um, you know, before I got on my bike. And so I was heading up towards, uh, I was heading south on 217. I'm almost hitting the I-5 exit to go south. See, timber's coming up, so I'm gonna focus here right now. a whole bunch of traffic in the slow lane and there were people in the middle lane like the slow lane was completely stopped there were a, like three different groups or three groups of two cars all stopped in the middle lane and I passed the first group and I passed the second group and I'm getting up on towards the third group of uh, you know one car in front and one car behind completely stopped in the middle lane I'm in the fast lane nobody in the fast lane it's going about 35 40 miles an hour because I knew some people don't like to wait and try to go around them anyways so there is a like a sedan like a four-door sedan and then uh, an SUV right behind that car in the middle lane so the SUV decides they don't want to wait and so they also don't want to look over their shoulder to see if there's anybody coming in the fast lane. And she just goes. And here I am, coming up, going 35, 40 miles an hour. And she does this. First off, I did not have enough time to slow all the way down. She wasn't, she started at a complete stop. She started at a complete stop and hit it into my fast lane. So by this time, I was trying to look for an escape route because I knew there was no way in hell I was going to be able to not miss her if I slowed down. I tried slowing down without, you know, break, uh, sorry, um, locking up my brakes. And I was like, screw it. So I tried searching for an escape route. And the biggest route was between these two cars. The, now she's in the fast lane, and then the other four-door sedan was in the middle lane, completely stopped. So I didn't technically have to worry about the car, the car in the uh, the cat. You know, I got a New York accent now. Uh, the car in the middle lane, because they were completely stopped trying to get to the slow lane. But as I'm going between these two cars, the SUV is now in the fast lane. And I'm in the middle lane, you know, on the dotted line, going right down the center. She decides she wants back over into the middle lane. And here I am. I'm pretty much almost past her. I'm to the hood of her car now. And I see her starting to move over, so I start to move over. to move over and I start to look at her because I was like do you see me trying to you know motion that I'm here I'm here and I as I get past her this was more like you know how um, you see in the movies like Star Wars where like uh, Harrison Ford is riding or driving the, the spaceship out of like uh, the, the worm dude and he just makes it before he like crushes it down on his like teeth. Yeah, that's what it felt like with my bike. I was going in between these two cars and as soon as I pop out, 
I it, I was like a feeling of relief that I had actually gotten through this mess. But when I look back, I gave her the hand up gesture. I didn't, I didn't, you know, give her the middle finger. I didn't do that because I don't do that. I, I can't even do that to my closest friends as a joke. I can't even do that. So, I, as I'm looking back, giving her the hands up feature, she, like her mouth, her jaw was wide open. She was like, she did not see me at all. And I was like, are you, are you kidding? You, you couldn't see, you know, who was in the fast lane. You didn't want to check to see who was over there before you decided to, you know, go into that lane. That's how people get career-ended. Anywho, um, because I was kind of late to work, I decided not to pull over and uh, explain my reasoning for going in between these two cars. Um, but, uh, as I was continuing on, I guess the Subaru had seen me. I, by this point, I'd gotten into the slow lane, and the Subaru was in the fast lane, and I look over, and they gave me the gesture of, I'm glad you're okay, you know, are you okay? And I was like, I nodded my head back to let them know. But other than that, man, that was like the week from hell. Because I was still recovering from my sickness, you know, I kept, couldn't fully eat anything. Oh, there's a bunch of stupid freaking rocks in the road. I'm okay. I'm doing well. Um, my bike is being put back together. Got a swing arm for a hundred bucks. Um, the mirror that we got, I still have my boyfriend's mirror. The mirror he's using is the one I bought off eBay. And um, they said it was OEM, but it turns out, oh, it turns out that it was like a Japanese made brand. And so, um, we're trying to get a refund. If he doesn't respond, we're gonna go through eBay, but, um, we sent the email yesterday, still no response. Uh, but I am still trying to look for an OEM mirror. Hopefully I get my money back. This is really gorgeous in the fall. I mean, the leaves are starting to fall down now, and... It's really, really quite cool. a new swing arm. Um, speaking of replacements, uh, my zipper on my jacket, my Alpenstar jacket, had fallen off. So I decided to give Alpenstars a call or, you know, email. And they gave me two new zipper pulls for free. It was pretty nice. I um, definitely approve of Alpenstars. They rock. But I'm wearing full gear right now, except for my city boots. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Rocks again. Man, they must be doing, like... Road workers. Stupid trucks coming up here or something. Hopefully, uh, cars aren't laying down rocks in the corners. Because they don't like bikes. This is my favorite corner, but uh, I can't take it that fast because I'm scared about these stupid freaking rocks. Other than that, um, I got a camera. I got a spy camera. The MD-80. It's in the back of me right now. I don't know if it's recording because apparently sometimes it randomly stops. I don't know if it's because of the jolts in the road or these stupid rocks that we keep seeing. <laughs> but um, I'll give you some footage of that if I don't cut it right now. Uh, it's, it's decent quality. The reason why I got it was specifically for the instance that I ran into on Friday. Crap. It was like right in my... going to use it as a security cam if something does go horribly wrong 
that um, hopefully that cam will pick up something and I can use it as evidence. And this is the road where Warren actually got a butterfly caught in his jacket. So it always, this part always reminds me of that. We're coming up on the tiny little uh, town with the speed zone ahead and we stop at the railroad tracks and the butterfly flies out. Yes, it was very cute. Camera.